So here we are. This is like a backwards stuck in the rut. We started in the middle of nowhere. Now we're in this place called Seattle. I have no idea how to use a freaking Uber. So we're trying to find stall five. Oh, there's a stall. Oh, I think we found it. We're going elk hunt. Let's take the Prius. Hard ground. No waiters. So we made it to Idaho. This is the stressful part of a uh, non-Alaska hunt. In Alaska, it's like, oh, is the weather gonna be good? Now it's like, is there gonna be a gunworks case with two rifles coming off this conveyor belt? I sure hope so. If that's there, we got some snow, the elk are pulling down, should be pretty good. So upon arrival, whether it's a long flight or a long road trip, we typically like to verify the gun, just to be sure that all our equipment is working before the hunt. Hunt. I mean, I got bacon, so. You're about bolted out with your Barneys and I'm gonna be stuffed full with my Kuyu. Good luck, this is 10,000, that's a six. <laughs> I'll just give you my extra that doesn't fit. No, it's only 90 pounds so far, so that's <laughs> Snow in the high country and bulls are pulling down. We have good reports. So we should be able to see tracks, see bulls better in the snow. They should be up feeding because it's being wicked cold and Tana is freaking out. But there's this thing down here called trees and you can burn them for a thing called fire and it creates heat. We're not used to that, so. It's cold. It's like really cold, like colder than freaking Alaska, but should keep the elk feeding. And we're gonna walk in. I don't know if I have enough stuff. Got 10,000 cubic inch bodies back full with another 2,000 <laughs> strapped to the outside of the gun, but we're gonna go kill some elk. It is morning one of us being out here and we're glassing. It's a beautiful day, but I haven't seen anything yet. Have you seen any signs of life besides your rock elk? No. <laughs> First elk spotted. Elk are cool. We finally saw some. So now we're just waiting for the boys. Whew, it's already frosty. The sun went down and it's cold. This is going to be sweet. A nice warm stove. seeing any elk where we thought they were. So we're leaving our tents there just in case. And we've been seeing elk down the canyon. And so we are hiking like five miles down the canyon to set up another camp spot and hopefully hunt out of there and find where these bulls are. Because we've been seeing a lot down there and just can't access them from where we're at. So left camp there, we're going to set a new camp and just Damn. hunt all day. Dan, I saw a good six point last night. Not huge, like 270 maybe. I saw about 14 cows and calves, and maybe a spike this morning, but they're all lower, so we're in reposition. But when you live at 40 feet sea level, pretty much, and then you come to high altitude, that sucks. So our lungs are straining, but we're gonna make it. I think I'll find some bulls. spotted we hope they're they're it's later in the season so we think there's gonna be more bulls with it but it's getting like 3 34 o'clock it's good that he's up feeding in the shade so we're gonna pick apart this burn and uh see what's there and we might be killing the bull tonight so we're going in we found the bulls i think we got a seven by seven and other bulls and dana's kind of excited have you ever shot a six point Barely six point, not a big one. So it's on. Are you ready? So let's go kill this thing. Okay. You better get ready too, because there's another one in there. Hey, there's another bigger one in there than that. There's three in that one. The one behind it, damn it. The second one is the one you want. Come out to that black tree yet. Left to that black base tree. So 
five miles an hour is 1.2. 13.5. Hold one minute left. Left where you want to hit. One minute. Right there. That one. Yeah. He's walking out right now. He just put his head down. Take your time. Take your time. They're going to go into the open. Take your time. This one right here. Yeah. He just took his just a heavy six. So a bull elk can lose a lot of body fat during the rut, but after the rut, these bulls are playing catch up by stacking on the calories before winter. That's why they are so focused on feeding. Same range. No yeah. shot. 13. <clears throat> one step forward. If he takes one step forward, you can just hold on the hold on his shoulder. Right on his shoulder. You can kill him if you think you can get him. Same range, 13.5? Yeah. Same range, 13.5. Ready? Yeah, kill him. Reload, reload, hold a little higher, hold right under his spine, hold right under his spine, you got him though. Right under his spine and on his shoulder, right, hold on his neckline. That one thumped in, heart. nice. Both in the heart. Get him again if you can. Kill him again, get him again. Yeah. That one got him. Nice, nice baby. As I was soaking in what just happened, our buddy told Adam to grab his gun because a bull just stepped out right below us. Yeah, that's the easiest pack out you're going to get right there. If you want to. Oh, over the counter, double up. It's just sex. Oh, that's him. That's the bull that was with him. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Adam, get to the left. One thing if you want. Nope. A beautiful bull. <sighs> nice work, honey. He's almost an eight. See that? Oh man. <laughs> Look at that. What a beauty. <sighs> He's almost an eight, you guys, on that side. <laughs> See that? <laughs> That's freaking awesome. Well, big bull down. Day two. I'm super excited. I invited myself on this hunt. It's <laughs> <laughs> being my hunt. <laughs> it's supposed to be Adam's elk hunt with a buddy. And I'm like, hey, that's around my birthday. Can I go? And uh, thankfully, they let me join, and then they let me shoot first. So that's pretty awesome. <laughs> this bull is more than what I expected. I came in really with zero expectations. I just wanted to elk hunt. I haven't elk hunted in Idaho for like eight years. And this was just awesome. We flew up our nanny so we could come do this hunt together because we don't get to hunt together very often. Our buddy helped us out. Couldn't have done it without him. And yeah, we've been just hiking we moved camp today because we didn't think we were in the elk and so we hiked found the elk ran in killed him here we are it's gonna be a long night but we have a beautiful full moon just gorgeous weather couldn't be happier so thank you guys could not have done it without you good shoot probably two and a half of these to make up a miss so and there were two bulls to choose from 
and there was a, I think a barely seven by seven and this six. And they're like, the six is bigger, shoot him. And then we walked up to him and he's got a couple little points here. So and then, that's pretty cool. And then a six point ran out about a hundred yards right after Tana shot. And I had what's called, <laughs> uh, it's rare for me, but it's called self-control. <laughs> My buddy was trying to get me to shoot it, but uh, I'm kind of holding out for a big one. I'm super happy to watch Tana shoot one. So it's pretty cool. Almost had a double, but couldn't be happier. And now we got some work to do. So this was the last shot, high shoulder, through the scapula, through everything, 180 grain, Hornady ELDM. A lot of penetration, a lot of expansion out of a seven som. Going about 2,700 feet per second. Pretty nice. Popping some pills over there. <laughs> the leaves. We have begun the Pulled an out. ass muscle. <laughs> and they don't even have an ass. So how's that work? <laughs> Poor Adam. What is the max dosage in three hours of a leave? Is eight um, too many? Yes. Okay. Mix with a couple of muscle relaxants. Hope I can make it to the top. You're doing a good job. This is the line. That's why you put your Onyx tracks on. This is uh, not cliffed out, but blow downed out. So you're doing a good job there, bud. Here. there you go. Yeah. Well, we got out and we're a little off trail. <laughs> and across the creek and then go way up. While the boys were glassing, I decided to cook up some elk heart for some good nutrition after a long pack out. So we're going down to get Tana's bowl. There's a couple five points down there. These guys are trying to talk me into shooting a five point. That's getting towards the end, so you never know. <laughs> Last day five point, I've been known to do that, but uh, there's some six points in here too, so we're going to get down there, get Tana's bowl pack it across, get up here, and then probably shoot one and have to go all the way back down there. But, uh, sounds fun. Just doing some dental work. You can tell how old the ungle it is by how worn down the teeth are, but that's just an estimate. But we're whispering because there's a couple five points in here and might shoot one of us. But you cut right down here, cut here, cut across this, to both sides, and what you got, you can take a rock, back of your knife and smash those teeth. You pull these two lower incisors out. We send them to Matson's, And uh, they cut them and there's rings in there just like a tree. It's a pretty cool process and they give the exact age how old the animal is so it's kind of neat to know all our moose, caribou, elk, deer. We send them all in to uh, check them out. So we'll see if I got this thing. Are you ready? Easy. 
as he does it. There you go. Apparently cleft out. There you go. You're doing a good job. Made it. Mostly. Worth it. Yeah. Home sweet home. Here we are. In the teepee. Damn, it's sound asleep. And we're trying to dry everything out. So, get the boots dry and get some dinner. Adam had a couple good opportunities at a few bowls but he passed them up and decided to let them grow another year. So we decided to pack up and head home and relieve our nanny. I see one teepee, there should be two. So packing out this bowl and our teepee might not have made it. It's gusting like 40 here. So hopefully it's still staked to the ground and not down yonder. You see it's some big rocks holding his down. Sweet. Well, <laughs> our big rocks did not save the TV. So far, I think that's all my stuff. I don't think I hey. Whatever you do, don't leave it in the back of the truck in Billings. <laughs> Mom's home. Attack. And all her bags made it. Crazy. And my antlers made it. Got some weird looks. Who brings antlers back to Alaska? <laughs> They made it. You happy your mom's home? Please subscribe for more Stuck in the Rut videos. Good Thank job. you for watching. Good job.